Here are the top 10 largest economy in the world. This ranking was based on IMF forecast data of nominal GDP in every country for the year 2024. Rank number 10. Canada. With a forecast nominal GDP of 2.12 trillion US dollar. Canada has a diverse and resource-rich economy. The energy sector, particularly in oil and gas production, plays a significant role in the Canadian economy. It is a major global player in the mining industry, producing minerals such as gold, copper, potash, and uranium. And also, services sector, manufacturing, and agriculture is an important contributor to Canada's economy. The country is known for its agricultural products, such as grains, oil seeds, and livestock. Number 9. Brazil. This nation's forecast nominal GDP is 2.13 trillion US dollar. Brazil is rich in natural resources, including agricultural products, minerals, and energy resources. The country is a leading global producer and exporter of soybeans, beef, poultry, and other agricultural products. In addition, this country has extensive mineral resources, and mining plays a crucial role in its economy. The country is a major producer of iron ore, bauxite, and other minerals. And lastly, Brazil has been investing in infrastructure projects, including transportation and energy. Infrastructure development is seen as crucial for economic growth and regional connectivity. Number 8. Italy. Italy's estimated nominal GDP is 2.19 trillion US dollar. This country is known for its strong manufacturing sector, particularly in industries such as automotive, machinery, design, and fashion. The country is home to many world-renowned brands and luxury goods. It is also a major tourist destination, known for its historical sites, art, culture, and cuisine. The tourism sector is a significant contributor to the Italian economy. Also, Italy is a global hub for fashion and design. Cities like Milan are renowned for their influence on the fashion industry, with many high-end fashion houses headquartered in the country. Number 7. France. With a nominal GDP of 3.05 trillion US dollar, the services sector is a significant contributor to the French economy. Key areas include tourism, hospitality, financial services, and professional services. It also has a well-developed manufacturing sector, with a focus on industries such as aerospace, automotive, chemicals, and machinery. It is known for its high-quality manufacturing and engineering. France is a major tourist destination, attracting millions of visitors each year. The tourism industry, which includes cultural sites, landmarks, and gastronomy, contributes significantly to its economy. Number 6. United Kingdom. This nation's forecast nominal GDP is 3.33 trillion US dollar. United Kingdom has a highly developed services sector, including finance, insurance, real estate, and professional services. London, the nation's capital, is a global financial hub. While the services sector is dominant, UK also has a significant manufacturing base, including industries such as automotive, aerospace, and pharmaceuticals. The country is also involved in technological innovation. Lastly, UK has a diverse energy sector, including oil and gas production in the North Sea as well as a growing focus on renewable energy sources such as wind and solar power. Number 5. India. India's estimated nominal GDP is 4.11 trillion US dollar. With the largest population of around 1.44 billion people, it has one of the fastest growing and largest economies in the world. The country's economy is characterized by a significant contribution from the services sector, including information technology, business process outsourcing, software services, and other service-related industries. In addition, India has been investing in infrastructure projects, 
including transportation, energy, and urban development. These investments aim to support economic growth and improve living standards. Number 4. Japan. This nation has a nominal GDP of 4.23 trillion US dollar. Japan is a global leader in the production of automobiles, electronics, robotics, and precision machinery. It is a major exporter, and its economy heavily relies on international trade. Japanese multinational corporations such as Toyota, Honda, Sony, and Panasonic have a significant global presence. Furthermore, Japan has a well-developed financial sector, including major banks and financial institutions. The Tokyo Stock Exchange is one of the largest stock exchanges in the world. Number 3. Germany. With a nominal GDP of 4.43 trillion US dollar. As the largest economy in the European Union, Germany is renowned for its strong manufacturing sector, particularly in automobiles, machinery, chemicals, and industrial equipment. It is home to several globally recognized multinational corporations. The German automotive industry, including companies such as Volkswagen, BMW, and Mercedes-Benz, is a significant contributor to the country's economic output and employment. Number 2. China. This populous country has a nominal GDP of 17.7 .7 trillion US dollar. China has experienced rapid economic growth over the past few decades, driven by industrialization, urbanization, and export-oriented policies. It is known as the world's factory, due to its dominant role in global manufacturing. The country is a major exporter of goods, ranging from electronics, machinery, textiles and consumer goods. China has invested heavily in infrastructure development, including high-speed rail, highways, airports, and urban infrastructure. This has been a key driver of economic growth and connectivity. Number 1. United States. With a forecast nominal GDP of around 26.95 trillion US dollar, the US economy is highly diversified, with significant contributions from various sectors, including services, manufacturing, healthcare, technology, finance, and agriculture. It is a major player in international trade, both importing and exporting a wide range of goods and services. And lastly, United States is a global leader in technology and innovation. Silicon Valley, located in California, is renowned for its concentration of technology companies and startups. Thank you for watching. See you in my next video.